Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. There is no such thing as a courageous coon. The nature of a coon is to be cowardly. That's the nature of the coon. Okay? That's why they're coons to begin with, because they're cowards. They ain't trying to step on the oppressor's toes. They instinctive, instinctively succumb to the agency of anything opposite of human dignity. And why they do that? They want to do that to repudiate, repudiate, repudiate self-worth and awareness. The goal of degrading themselves is to be less than anything respectable in order to ingratiate themselves to mass in them. You get it? So they recognize that Zaddy and them are in fact superior. That's their belief. That's their core belief. The coon does not see himself in his own people, but rather he sees himself in the eyes of the enemy. So if the enemy says, I'm superior, he says, yes, sir, you indeed, you is superior. Don't worry about those other black folks over there yelling and screaming and hollering. I, I, I'll, I'll save you. I'll save you, master. That's the coon. And it doesn't matter if he's a self-hating house Negro coon or a Quranic infiltrating Munafi coon, okay? All coons are gutless, all of them. They're all gutless, they're all spineless. And their very nature, you will never find them standing up for justice in the face of the enemy, but rather they stand always, 100% of the time, they always stand up for the enemy in the face of justice, the coon. This is who they are. So if you are wondering, even in the Muslim world, why the Muslim world is the way it is, is because just like we have our house Negro coons, they have their Munafi coons. Those folks, one set of rules for one people and a completely different set of rules for the other people. They, they, they out here yelling and hollering and screaming at America and Israel and all kind of stuff for Palestine, correct? This, this, this is the news of the day, every single day. Why is Israel being so hypocritical? Why is America being hypocritical? The question that we ask here on the features is why you Muslims, you have the Quran, you have the Sunnah, why are you the most hypocritical, pe pe hypocritical people on earth? Why? Tell me about Libya right now. Go ahead. Tell me why you have no work for what's going on with black Muslims in Libya today in 2024. Not a word, not a hump even, nothing. You don't have nothing to say about what's going on in the world's longest open, open air prison in the Congo. Nothing to say about that. You ain't got nothing to say about what's going on with African women in the Gulf countries, nothing. But the second some, something kicks off in Palestine, here you come, here you come. So the coon, the spineless coon and the Munafi coon, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi described them in detail. They have the same type of characteristics. Every time they speak, they lie. They're always lying. Every time they argue, they argue in the worst abhorrent manner. They don't have a promise they can keep, and they don't have an oath that they can fulfill. So these folks, the spineless, the gutless, the ones who are always there to shine the boots of the oppressor, when the oppressor has the boots on your neck, they are not your brothers and don't even consider them your brothers. They're not. They are the brothers of those whom they love.
يخرج الحي من الميت ويخرج الميت من الحي ويحيي الأرض بعد موتها وكذلك تخرجون